Ah, greetings and welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair. My name is Jim Ellermeyer. I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my right would be... Uh, my name is Shuai, uh, and uh, I'm an MD graduate. I'm doing an inter externship here at Sinclair. Great. Glad to have you aboard. And on my left? Uh, Holly with Chatham University. And you are a... Oh, PA student. <laughs> right, and a PA student is... A uh, physician assistant. Right, for the people out there who are unfamiliar with that. And again, uh, we're talking to you from Seclair, an integrative holistic psychiatric facility located in Delmont, Pennsylvania, where we treat people we don't tread necessarily treat diagnoses, offering enhancements to an individual's life. And our purpose during these podcasts, these broadcasts, is to provide a little bit of maybe some thought, maybe a little bit of uh, un cracking some of the, the little caves inside of your mind and perhaps something that will enhance your life as you go out into the world. So I was, uh, I was thinking today, Shui, about, have you ever dived into a swimming pool? Um, not really diving. But have you jumped into a swimming pool? Uh, of course, yes. Have you been wet? Cost. <laughs> yes. Have you been wet? Have you mm -hmm. dived into a swimming yeah. pool? So sometimes that's what life is, isn't it? It's like getting into a swimming pool. Do you ever feel? Did you ever feel you weren't immersed in life? Did you ever feel you weren't there? Did you ever feel you were all wet with everything tingling around you? So often, of course, one of the modalities that we have here at Seclair involves mindfulness. Mindfulness is indeed paying on uh, attention on purpose. However, it's also participating in your life, not merely standing back and being always being the observer. So sometimes I liken that to a ball, okay? So the harder you throw a ball, generally, the what happens? The more it'll bounce. The back. more it'll bounce. The harder you throw the ball, the higher it will bounce, right? Mm -hmm. So how, how are you participating in your life out there? How hard are you throwing that ball? And the beautiful thing about this is that we can constantly shape and manage, change the type of ball that we're throwing. Okay, the type of ball that we're throwing in life. Have you ever have you ever been bowling? Yep. Have you ever I have. Have, you, have you ever bowled? Uh, well, twice. Right. So, well, once is plenty. Okay. Uh, so, what, what's a bowling ball? What's a bowling ball like, Holly? Uh, it's big and heavy. Big and heavy. <laughs> yeah. And when you drop a bowling ball, something that big and heavy, does it bounce very high? No, really. No. And it lands with a what? A thud. A thud. Did you ever feel like you wake up in the morning and you land with a thud in your life? If you do, then something needs to be done. So what's the purpose of a bowling ball? What does a bowling ball do? Oh, it knocks over pins. It knocks <laughs> over pins. So would you like to go through your life knocking things over? Blowing things out of your way? Probably not. Probably not. No, not, not many people would. So also, sometimes there's balloons too, aren't there? There's mm -hmm. balloons. So if you fill a balloon with helium, what happens? It uh, goes into the air and Just takes off. Goes away, mm -hmm. woo, 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 willy nilly, kind of no direction, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes our lives are filled with no direction too. Sometimes our lives are like those balloons that are filled with helium. Mm -hmm. So when I, uh, however, when it's filled with air, it can be bounced a little bit. Can mm -hmm. I, did you ever be at a party or whatever? Yeah, yeah. So you're blowing balloons up, or a beach ball, or a basketball. Mm -hmm. Some of the air that can be useful, can it not? Absolutely. So, however, have you ever been at a picnic or somewhere, or maybe when you were uh, younger or even now, filled a balloon with water? Mm-hmm. I have. Okay. Have you ever thrown a water balloon? I have thrown some. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You sound like you really don't want to admit that. Yes, a long time ago. <laughs> So when you throw a water balloon against the wall, what happens? It explodes. It's exposed. It leaves a splash, yeah. right? It leaves a splash. And sometimes that's the way our lives are filled. Our lives are filled with like water. Our fr and we're, we're just unmanageable. And when we land, we're just a mess. So again, when the balls that bounce the highest, sometimes we're known as... Bouncing balls. Bouncing balls. Super mm -hmm. balls, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody out there ever heard of super balls? We used to have them all the time. This is kind of like a super ball here. Bounces high. The harder you throw, the bounces. So what's in, what's inside this that makes it bounce so high? I don't know. Some it's, sort of... It's densely packed with energy. So you're familiar with the kinetic and potential energy? Not sure. Okay. Well, kinetic energy is when something's, it's, it's the amount it takes to do work. Okay. It's energy. It's energy. This thing, when, when it's moving and bouncing, it has kinetic energy. And that's kind of the way we go through life. However, when uh, there, what it's filled with is potential energy. Have you ever taken a spring? No. 
-hmm. when, when, you, when you compress a spring, that's potential energy, okay? And when you release that spring, it becomes kinetic energy and bounces all around. So the idea of is this mindfulness aspect in your life is building up potential energy inside yourself. Mindfulness, prayer, meditation, these are the type of things that settle yourself and you're prepared. So what we do is we want to be prepared in life. You ever been a Girl Scout? No, I haven't. Okay. Well, Boy Scout's motto is what? Be prepared. So the idea about this mindfulness is to, we have no idea what's going to happen in life, do we not? No idea. Not sure. Have you ever met anybody that has a crystal ball that works, Dr. Lee? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I have not. Have you ever met a person with a crystal ball that actually oh, yeah. worked? No, and no one has it. So what do we do? We prepare. And this is the idea of the mindfulness. Let's prepare that potential energy inside of us. So when we're presented with a situation in life, you can choose what type of ball you can be. You want to be a, you want to be a bowling ball and land with, land with a thud in life? Do you want to be just a ball filled with helium, filled with random thoughts and racing thoughts and nothingness that just drift around the sky with no purpose and no direction? Would you like to be a balloon filled filled with water that splats at its first, at its first encounter, the, the, the first roadblock, the wall in life, the obstacle that you meet, you splash and explode. Or would you rather be a ball, a super ball with kinetic energy inside it, formed by potential energy through the practice of mindfulness. It's your choice to be what type of, in your life. And that's my challenge to you today. Sit back and determine what type of ball do you want to be in life and you can make that choice every morning. So. At the end of every podcast, we give a free prescription. Fruits, nuts, vegetables. Unplug your television. Okay. Perhaps take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we always ask that you... Fish without bait. We fish without bait, a lifetime without definitive expectations. And as always, your charge and your charge every day is to be good to yourself and more importantly, do a kind act for another. Namaste. Thank you. Mm -hmm.